The line between private and public content is so slim, a single finger tap is all it takes to erase that line completely. Florida State senior Max McConnell was shocked to learn how quickly his private life turned public after a series of direct messages and texts between him and his ex-girlfriend were posted to social media. Log on to Facebook one morning, suddenly everything about our relationship and my life had been made public. In a span of less than 12 hours, Max received hundreds of hate messages from strangers across his various social media accounts. The cause? Max's ex-girlfriend, Crystal Barnes, decided to take the messy details of their private relationship public. I knew the only way to handle a guy like Max was to expose him. I mean, if it wasn't so bad, he wouldn't be getting so much hate for it. All that backlash stems from this image posted to Crystal's Facebook timeline. On the left is a conversation held within a private direct message thread on Instagram, where Max states, I will love you forever. Crystal responds, do you really mean that? Max replies, yes, I'm sure. Promise me you'll be there for me forever. Crystal says, I promise. Max ends by reassuring Crystal, you can always trust me. We're forever, babe. The right depicts a very different conversation, this time over text message. Crystal starts by asking, I just don't understand. Max responds, look, your expectations are just too high. I can't do this anymore. Crystal replies, was anything you said real? Max ends with an old cliche saying, I said what I was feeling, but feelings change. It's not you, Crystal, it's me. Crystal's Facebook post succeeded in exposing Max to their inner circle of friends and family. I think it's really messed up what she did. I mean, my boy's a good guy and I feel like she's the only one who gets to share this hide. Despite Crystal's Facebook wall being set to private, Within minutes, one of her friends screenshotted the image and posted it to Twitter. The screenshot quickly gained popularity, one retweet after the next. I had hate mail, um, even got a couple uh, letters. All that hate mail made sense since Crystal's post made its way to the eyes of a celebrity. Kylie Jenner must have found the post relatable because she retweeted the image to her account with a caption, hashtag reasons I have trust issues. Today's program was sponsored by The Backstage Blonde, a life and beauty blog. Jenny Adbauer, a modern English scholar, Penn State professor, and author of Unframing Models of Public Distribution from Rhetorical Situation to Rhetorical Ecologies, explains a missing link, a paradox, if you will, in our perception of private versus public. She writes, Sender-receiver models of public communication tend to identify a kind of homeostatic relationship, which simultaneously abstracts the operation of social links and circulation. In other words... So that is a complicated example of audience. Now that makes sense. Seemed like, oh, the audience for a text message is the person I'm sending it to. But in fact, because of other kinds of contextual situations, the audience is not nearly as straightforward as you might think. With their private conversations now visible to Kylie Jenner's millions of Twitter followers, the hate mail ensued, leaving Max distraught... This has undoubtedly been a breach of my privacy and seeking possible action. I will be looking into getting a lawyer. Crystal feels differently. Nothing that he said to me was incriminating or explicit. If he can't say what he said to me in private, in public, then he shouldn't be saying that to me at all, or to any girl. I think he learned a really good lesson. Max learned his lesson the hard way. Be careful what you put online. There's nothing private anymore. I always thought they were paranoid. This whole situation has really shown me the lack of privacy that all of us face. As for the once happy couple, despite everything that's happened, do you see yourself ever getting back together? Some things are better left private. I'm Emmeline Chaporian Jack, reporting for FSU News, Tallahassee.